So paying overtime does in fact seem fair and reasonable on its face, but for farming, it really doesn't work as well. Uh, farming is very seasonal in nature and it becomes very difficult to say, well, we're just gonna work 40 hours a week. There are weeks when you need maybe need to work 60, 80, or 100 hours, and then you've got weeks where it might only be 10 or 20 hours. So when you say it's going to be 40, and that's all there is, and then you combine that with the economic challenges of extremely tight margins with farming, it just becomes really difficult for a farmer to figure out, how am I going to balance the needs of my worker with uh, the needs of my farm? This in turn hurts farm workers because instead of them being able to make a, a whole lot of money during a seasonal time, the farmer has no other choice but to limit them to the 40 hour work week. And therefore they're receiving much less in their paycheck. Our legislation in Olympia says we gotta pay. Uh, the day for me, the H2A this year is making 19, 25 or 30 cents an hour, whatever that is. If we pay overtime, that increases almost ten dollars an hour. Yep. And we're losing money on the on what we produce. So how do you pay ten dollars more an hour? You don't. You can't. Hmm. We had to leave cantaloupe in the field because we could not afford to pick it. And that happened twice at two different times. We were forced into this situation. Fifty-seven thousand dollars of at least cantaloupe was left in that field. And I think there was some Tuscan melon too. So it was probably 60,000 or so of produce is left in the field. Perfectly fine. I just could not afford to pick it. And that's the thing. If we can't get the fruit off the tree into the shed, how are we going to make money? So, you, so this situation right now with labor could really put you out of business. Yes, it could. And not just me, every farmer here.